Hello guys and welcome to Crusader Kings 3. So today we're doing a co-op. It's me. Let me get the uh, players up. It's me. I'm Rasola. It's Rift and it's Narfi. Narfi's playing as Alfred the Great. He plans on having some rapid expansion. We have Rift from the most recent Imperial Rome PvP who is playing Flanders, planning on taking West Francia from the inside. And I just thought I would start as Italy because it's the safest bet because I can't test how the game works with all the DLCs because they own them and I don't. And it's very different. So I just made my own character. He's a Roman. So he's like the only Roman in the fucking world. And I put him in charge of Italy. And my idea is going to be forming the Empire of Italy and then kind of making my own version of Rome. I made my own House House Romulus Go Rome or Go Home. I'm the only living member of it. We have a custom character for Rift as well. We'll maybe look at that later. And of course, Narfi is Alfred the Great, so he has his own kind of start. And the idea with this co-op playthrough, other than, you know, just learning the game that has changed vastly since we last played it, is a Catholic playthrough. We are going to spread Catholicism throughout the world. Fight the pagans, fight the Muslims, conquer our respective areas, represent and push our faith. And that is what this is going to be based on. So, let's go. Now, one downside is that nobody in the world is Roman except for literally me, but that's that's what I'm doing. That will change. That will change. That's right. I gave myself a level four marshal oh, for... Up. Diplomacy, just because I wanted that diplomacy focus. We're within the limits. This is like a fair created character. So I focus diplomacy, spy master after that, and then a little bit of stewardship. Everything else just off from being terrible. We don't want anything too bad. I made myself pure blooded just to be thematic. And I have a lot of stuff to catch up with and set up because I don't know how any of this works. Who do I marry? Oh God, and there's, there's grand weddings now. <laughs> yep. What the fuck is a grand wedding? Uh, gives you a opinion and prestige, I think. That's a lot of stinking money. Anticipated rewards, prestige, opinion, and stress loss. I see. That's special. <laughs> the most powerful alliance I can make is gonna be with a French woman. Fucking like West Francia. How much would that mess with Rift? I'm a vassal, so it won't have any effect on me. Okay. Uh, aren't you planning on, like, taking that over from the inside or something? either cause it to implode or just take it over if you marry like the ruler's daughter you get a you should get a weak claim on the title as well he has some particular daughters it seems like a, the grand wedding is just a really good way to uh get someone to marry you especially that wouldn't otherwise say yes this is another new thing characters have personalities now i think that was always a thing I don't mean like personality traits. I mean like cowardly lackey, treacherous empath. I don't think I saw this when we played last time. It's mainly important if you appoint them to your council or something or give titles to them. I think I'm gonna try to marry this lady. She's a treacherous empath. That doesn't seem necessarily the best, but I like her traits here the best. There's nobody else that I could, you know, get a dynasty going with anytime too soon that has stats anywhere roughly this good that has go Roma, traits go home. this approval uh or traits that are any good really yes go rome or go home that is the motto of house romulus i was tempted to name myself remus at first but i'll just name someone else remus and rex apparently is just how you say king for this so that's something but we'll take princess ermitrude Ermitrude. They'll accept. I don't have to do anything special. We may inherit my pure-blooded. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But I don't mind this. I would get 400 prestige from this, marrying into House Carling. I would have started as a Carling if I just didn't make my own character. So, this seems good to me. Go send that over. I have to pick my lifestyle. I'm ready to unpause. Definitely diplomacy. I'm definitely not ready to unpause. Okay. Uh, probably just max diplomacy bonus. Realistically, I just realized I spent so much time making my character look gorgeous that I forgot to change his stats. <laughs> yeah, you didn't set his stats because you made him no, look gorgeous. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Yeah. 
Uh, is that are you Duke Dorf? Yes, sir. How did you how how did you make this little goblin thing? Are the kids going to come out looking like this? I'm really yeah. hoping so. Oh my god. House Von Dirt. Window hookers and hot pockets. What the fuck is this nonsense? And then we have <laughs> Alfred the Great. So we have me um, self-inserting. You have a monstrosity and you have Alfred the Great. This is going to be a weird Catholic world we are living in. <laughs> Dear God. No player error. That can't be changed yet. Yeah, but Rev, do you want such a uh, stats? What the fuck is an accolade? Oh, this is new to me. What is this? And why does this lag my game so much when it's showing me what to do? He'll get by on his look. I can select someone. A claim knight has two attributes. Read an accolade. Attributes for each candidate. I see. Primary attributes always the accolade. This is weird. You can now create this accolade if you wish. Thug. That doesn't seem very good. So I'm discovering accolades. These are weird. I can usurp Romunga. I think I'm pretty handy. From the Papacy. Not that that helps me attack the Papacy, unfortunately. But I can usurp it. Powerful vassal expects a position. Well, my Chancellor sucks. Although this might just be because he's a powerful vassal. A lot of these guys suck. How do I see who my powerful vassals are? Oh, there we go. My powerful vassals are terrible at their jobs, and I hate it. <laughs> like, they're pretty bad at their jobs. You might want to sway our spy master. Let's go ahead and sway our spy master. That sounds smart. We started as a 16 year old. This is not me. But we started as a 16 year old. I only start with cataphracts. Well, that's fitting for Rome. Only Romans, or East Romans, the Byzantines, can make cataphracts. This is our special unit, so starting with only a cataphract isn't too bad. We have a lot of weird things as Rome. As a Roman. Our culture. Roman. We start out with all this stuff, and I'm the only Roman, so it's it's basically mine to do with as I want, and I could really do with as I want. Unlocked uh, buildings, fortification buildings. We can use Casa's bellies. I kind of want this, so I can speed up getting... Also, more men at arms. Yeah. Speed up taking Rome from the uh, the Pope. Because I want to eventually just kind of move my capital to Rome. And to do that, I'd have to do these. De jure, duchy, and county, casus bellies. That's not perfect, though. It could be a lot better than this. Early medieval is not available until 900 AD. Eventually, we'll just get everything down here anyway. I limited crown authority law. Wait, can we not enact that already? This right here? No, because we don't have this. Wow, we're pretty limited in a lot of freaking ways. There's all kinds of things I want then. Also, I'm not in charge yet, so I can't change anything yet. But I feel like this is what I would want, actually. Because this would give me the ability to revoke titles, which could help me keep everything together a little bit better. Royal court. Ah, yes, I remember this. I didn't have it a second ago. I have to remember how these work. We have banners. Oh, nice. I have a Romulus house and dynasty banner. That's cute. I can put one on each side of the wall here. The house banner and the dynasty banner. There you go. Beautiful. Isn't that nice? Is there a difference? I don't think so. Because it's, it's just all the same thing. Prestige, renown, vassal limit. Prestige, renown, men at arms, maintenance. Okay. There's nothing else that I can really get. No claims. I don't remember how any of this shit works. I'm pouring money into this stuff, apparently. We need to have grandeur level 3. That is what's expected. If I remember correctly, some of these are, like, really good, and some of these are not as useful. Yeah, like level 5 food, for example. That provides a disease resistance, so that's fucking awesome. Everything else is not as important. But it would move things around quite strangely. There's also a massive reduction to guest recruitment, as well as a bonus to resisting hostile schemes, which sounds awesome as well. There's a lot of things that sound awesome. Prestige, of course, sounds great as well. Small percentage bonus of monthly prestige. I'm going to see what I can do here to manage this then. 
and kind of get things how I want. If I go all in on food and servants, I can get the bonuses that I really want. We'd be one level ahead on grandeur. And so we'd get more contribution of levies as well. So I think I like this. It will cost a little bit more money, but it would prepare us for the next level. It would give me all the bonuses that I want. So let's do that. Go ahead and, uh, well, yes. Court amenities, yes. Change that. So we have our amenities. We start with a warlike court. There's also an intrigue court. This is different. So now they added an intrigue court. It's for bellicose ethos. Oh, so your ethos decides what kind of courts you can have. Okay. That's news to me. Well, between these two, I like the warlike court. So that's definitely not changing. We speak Latin. Oh shit, dude. Here in Italy, we speak Latin because I'm Roman. <laughs> I, I assume that's why. I don't see anybody else speaking Latin. Embrace Latin. I have to station my one men at arms somewhere. What's my capital anyway? It's right there at Turin. Yeah, I definitely want to move my capital eventually. So I'm probably not going to invest too much into my capital at the moment. Because I eventually just want to get Rome. It's just that as a Catholic, getting that is not going to be simple. We don't have anywhere that really stands out in terms of development. Except, I guess, up here. Which I don't necessarily own. What's the development here? Yeah, it's like 10. My capital is less, I think. Yeah, it's like 5. It'll get better over time, but still. Oof. I don't think I'm going to be basing my capital out of here forever, so. Although, if I remember correctly, moving a capital is not the easiest thing. No, actually, wait. In CK, I think it actually is pretty easily. It's Imperator where it's not that easy. Well, eventually, I'd love to move my capital down there. For now, what I have will do. Any random shit that I have will probably do. I could invest into some of the stuff that I own. I don't know. I don't think there's a lot of duchies at the start. What do I have? I am the, the Kingdom of Italy, Duchy of Province. Am I even in there? Do I even own anything in there? I feel like I don't. What's in Province? I don't, yeah, I don't even own anything in Province. What the fuck? And then like most of the other ones are just not even made. For example, the Duchy of Piedmont. This one actually would matter to me, but I don't have it. It's not made. And most of these duchies are not made. All right, well, this powerful vassal is a really good steward. So we're going to assign him here. And Lambert's not going to be very happy about that because he wants a seat on the council as well. I assume he is also powerful, but he is good at martial and spy mastery. Which, these other two are just as good at, if not better, at that job than he is. And then Duke, Duke Cronard here, who I assume Cronard is also a powerful vassal, because he sucks at his job. I'm realizing his name is Conrad, not Cronard, but you know, there you go. Conrad of Upper Burgundy. Yes, but he's terrible. He's absolutely terrible at his job. So I'm tempted to just replace him with anybody else. Literally anybody else that's better. So I'm going to fire him. Just put the dukes that are actually good at something in power. We'll see how smart of an idea that is. My prince bishop does not endorse me. But if, I believe I've already started swaying somebody else anyway. That's right. And I can also hold court intermittently. Well, shit. 100 prestige? Yeah. Let's hold court. Let's see what happens. Just are in line to approach. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like this court shit, but it is what it is. So Duke Lambert wants open carry permitted because there's murder or something. Popular opinion, but more danger. That's for traveling, I think. Uh, but everyone becomes happier. Or weapons banned in cities, which is a growth of control and less danger. I'd rather keep everyone happier given the situation. So keep our swords. This is America. They want to get rid of one of my barons, and I'm just going to ask what the guy has to say. If his wrongdoing is not proved, it gets a little fucked up a little bit. But if it is, then I guess he gives me money to stay in power. This seems to have like the least negative effects on me. So wrongdoing not proved. Well, that's a shame. A vassal, I assume this is a count, approaches a throne, young man in tow. He's seeking serving in a retinue of knights. Okay, Pompeius. Pompeius here is 13 prowess. Okay. Move to your court, become a knight. Removing him may upset some other count. Wait, what the hell? Removing him. Oh, removing him as a knight. Okay, well, this is... I don't think he's very special, is he? Gain opinion of me if I take him. Gain more opinion 
If I let him become my bodyguard, I don't know how smart that is. 13 prowess? Don't really know if that's a lot. I'd rather just figure that out later. Yeah, no, I'll let him attend me as a knight. That seems good to me. Pompeius gains prestige and opinion of me as a knight. And this other guy gets just some opinion of me anyway. Yeah, sure, I'll take him as a knight. That's fine. And that's the last petitioner. And we're done with that. And we're good. There's activities available. These are pretty Definitely new going, to me. Uh, I've been doing stuff this whole time. There's a lot more to do when you start out as Italy. And uh, most of it's DLC stuff that I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I have to do a lot of reading to figure out what everything is. All right, well, I have a wife. I have a French wife. As a European Narfi, what do you have to say about getting a French wife? No comment. Okay. Because anything you say is not my fault, all right? I'm American. I'm not saying anything. You're the European. You live next to France. <laughs> you know the French better than I do. Damn, she's a good steward. Like, a really good steward. God damn. Whew. She's awesome. Royal court. Something's happened. Radinal excess. What is this? Each day a buzz with the next banquet? Um, size disapprovingly fleeting pleasures. What are you talking about? This is just court grandeur in general, and it's like, what does the Pope think? I'd like some piety. Oh, it's the food. It's the food. It's the extravagance of the food. Okay. So, and then it's just what the, not the Pope, the Prince Bishop thinks of me. Um, I'll just boost up the grandeur temporarily. That's fine by me. We're temporarily at level five. I can have someone write a book. He's a guest. He wants to write about warfare, book inspiration, make a book. I don't have a book, but he's merely decent. He's not that... I need my money for other things, so I'm not going to do that. Because something I need to do in the lifetime of this guy is I need to usurp this kingdom. And then when I usurp this kingdom um, from the Pope, which he's going to be so happy about, I'm sure. And that's like 500 money. Then I can go ahead and look at making the Italia Empire. And we're starting to accumulate some renown... This guy is trying to learn my language. Oh, that's funny. Practicing in Latin. Oh, I'm ill. What the f- I'm already ill? What the fucking son of a- uh, What? Search for a court physician candidates. Yeah, search for court physician. Dude, it just started and I'm ill? What the fucking shit? Oh, God. All right, well, we just started and I'm ill already. <laughs> that's great. I can join- this what the hell there's so many things happening okay um i just uh, want samsung man the best person what'd you say you better have a son soon then oh yeah uh really really soon because i'm not looking too well you can also hire a court physician yeah that's what i'm doing illness. i'm getting the best one i possibly can <laughs> should i go to this tournament is that smart that's what i'm doing are these like chances to like die i feel like these are chances to die there is a low die, chance yeah. to get hurt or uh, killed, but there are chances to gain like skills and stuff like that and stats. Oh, well, I'm already on the verge of death, so I feel like I should just go. <laughs> That's smart. I mean, it, could it really get much worse, you know? I don't know. But although, I, before I do that, I know I can't just do it anymore. There's some new weird regency mechanic or something. Yeah, this is not a very good regent, this guy right here. I feel like maybe I should assign my wife or something. Someone that actually likes me and has decent stats. And she has decent stats. Regent Succession. What is Succession? Oh, this Pompeius guy, my knight, he would do surprisingly well. I think I'm just going to designate my wife, though. Hopefully that doesn't cause anything terrible. Anyone with a higher Succession score than Regina will lose opinion of you. Scaling to the score difference. Oh, okay. There, There is a, a thing then. Sort by succession score. Yeah, this guy is number one. Okay, well, maybe Pompeius would be the best then. I don't know why this knight is so good. Well, there's not many above. There's not many above. So I'm just going to say the wife. Yeah. And hopefully that didn't fuck things up too badly. And then I'm going to join this. And then how does this work? I don't know. I need a caravan master now. Aptitude good. This person is 16 year old right here. Here you go. You have a good aptitude. Let's appoint you. 
And so power sharing, I can have you promote authority. That keeps things together. And then there's money, men at arms. Yeah, no, I like authority. I like the sound of that. Keep things together. Yeah, even the, the knight isn't quite very happy anymore at this rate. Almost every danger on my way is just mountains. And if I hire a mountaineer, I get through most of it. There's a low chance of danger otherwise. But I wonder if I just don't go through this specific location. Susa. Like, what if I just customize the route, right? After the departure, we just go straight here. And after leaving, we just go down here. And then we can avoid that little bit of danger. Cost 12 money to travel like this. And I get to go participate. Sure, let's try it. Alright, I'm going. I'm trying it. Okay. I'm on my way to France, boys. Um, every available unlanded knight you have will accompany you to compete. France, West Francia. Um, Sorry, no more than what's necessary. Ill, a little bit brighter. Reduce disease symptoms for one year. Health, huge boost. Okay. So my health is good, despite being ill. That's fine. Um, hopefully it gets even better, because I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die. I look like I'm going to die. I'm going to change the marshal to manage the guards. Disrupt any hostile scheme chance as well, and make the knights more effective. That seems good to me. We could fabricate claims if we wanted to. I guess. What is this? There's a shrine we went into this is all new to me this is not in the game when we last played oh nice i can cast down god this guy looks like a child i mean so oh, yeah i'm already wounded oh that was I didn't even get to the tournament yet. <laughs> yeah i have an event going on the way too 15 money get popular opinion just everywhere and this specific county does as well which i i guess that's mine that's my county cultural acceptance between the Romans and French. I mean, that's what makes me feel like it's not mine. I'd rather get piety. That's created tomb clergy opinion. Yeah, let's do that. We're playing Catholics. We're playing devout Catholics, so I just like uh, fucked up some French tomb or something. I don't know. I saw some French tomb on the way and it wasn't Catholic enough, so I just fucked it up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's what they get. Those filthy French. Oh my god, the Grand Tournament has a whole like thing when you get there too that's ridiculous when contest at all else path to victory um oh god oh and you get there and you have an intent this is terrifying okay well i don't know how any of that goes but you could show up here to murder someone if you want yeah you could show up here to seduce someone to recruit knights what the fuck how are my knights kind of random we could recruit a guy that's fucking amazing yeah, these, these are pretty random. We could recruit better ones, but I need my money for other things. I don't have any wars I need to do at the moment. I have money I need to acquire, and I'm just spending money right now. Hey, I'm arriving at the event. I'm here. Oh, I can pick a locale, or it picks one for me. Let's go to the temple. I like this. I could spend prestige or get renown, or get piety. I like the idea of getting piety, even though renown is pretty awesome as well. Um, yeah, 100 piety? That sounds pretty good to me. Piety's pretty good. I can get my devotion going up. Divide, draw between the two teams. What the hell? To the field. You do not qualify for the melee contest. Well, that's fine by me. This is so weird of stuff to have in, like, a real-time thing. Like, just the way this event works. <laughs> I feel like, like, this feels like it should be turn-based. Tournament screen? Yeah, just like everything that happens in the tournament and the way it works. It's so weird. Uh, you can pause if you want. Uh, I expect to do that a bunch. There's, it tells me there's one day till the melee ends, but it's been telling me that for the past half a month. The qualifying nights has happened. Contestants gain prestige. I don't know who Bohemond is, but it's not me. Did I get anything out of that? I desecrated a tomb, reduced disease symptoms. I didn't qualify for the melee, so I wasn't even in the melee. Okay, so that has nothing to do with me, but my knights might have had something to gain from it. What a great occasion. Enter becomes the owner of prize ring. Every participating vassal gains opinion of me. You gained tourney goer. Stress gain reduction. All contest winning knights. Okay. 
All right, was that the whole thing? Yeah, that was the whole thing. I didn't even qualify for the melee because I'm just not that good at fighting, I guess. So I did not qualify for the melee. It's a very interesting system. Oh yeah, Raz, by the way, since you last played, they added a whole lot of Africa. They added a whole lot of Africa. Oh, okay. Who's this Eve? A courtier? Can join my court. Or my caravan master can join my court. Eve recruited to the entourage. Rukino joins... Oh, Duke Hugo's court. Oh, okay. Well, no, you guys can just... Come this way with me, I guess. I don't know. He's very... It's very confusing to me, all these new options that I'm unfamiliar with. So none of that stuff down there in Africa, like in the West, none of that was there before? Uh, maybe Ghana was there, but not definitely not below. Wow, so my guy fell... Oh my god. My guy fell in love with some French woman, just some lowly French woman, and so I could make her my lover and recruit her or just say no and lose stress. What a weird thing. Why why would I do this because I don't want to gain stress? You know, this is what I mean. When <laughs> when I say I'd like to just control every aspect of my character, my character is currently falling in love with some random French woman on the road and he wants to bring her home even though he has a wife. And if I say no to this, I gain stress. Why can't I just decide to not do this? I'm me, am I not? Yeah, but you get stress, so you can decide. But there are consequences. That's stupid. I shouldn't get stressed out at my own decisions. I have self-responsibility. Right, I left the French woman behind. I already have my own French woman at home. Good for you. Yeah, she's currently running the country while I'm away. Okay, uh, instead of foreign affairs, let me do domestic affairs on my chancellor because my own individuals, my own everyone, they're not really the biggest fans of me. I was on the road for almost a year. And I got martial experience from doing that. Oh, well, from visiting my own capital, I guess. Uh, this is very confusing. Hey, I'm not ill anymore. Yay. Nice. That wasn't fun, you know, being ill all the time. Oh, you can train for a tournament and it costs prestige. Wow, this is... Oh, there's so much new stuff. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh, the guy I was swaying died. Well, so much for that, huh? Lambert's someone I got rid of, huh? All right, well, you get him back now. He's happier now, but we'll still sway him now. I think he was pretty young, so I think he died because someone wanted his position. Also, I think I still don't have control over my culture because I think there technically isn't just anything with my culture on the map. I think that's why I'm not the culture head. Yeah, because there's no culture. It doesn't exist on the map. Okay, well, I know you can promote culture. 100%. It changes. Okay. Cultural acceptance. Yeah. Okay. So this is my capital. Let's promote that. Ten years to make it Roman. Yeah. To become the Roman head. Gladly. Thank you. Why did I get a notification about that? Yeah, I did too. About what? About your succession changing because you became a petty kingdom. I don't know. Also... I can see that you were tra that you are traveling in the ocean. What were you doing down there? I was visiting Santiago. Oh. That's kind of neat that you could just see where someone is, I guess. Nobody likes me very much at the beginning, especially starting this large, so I have to just focus on keeping my nation together right now. Yeah.